and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 2 and 3. I want to talk to you today about paper treasures that are worth more than gold because things are changing and we don't really see the nuances of how that will affect us even generationally. I love my Bible app just as much as the next person, don't get me wrong. I highlight in it, I make notes, I use it to write devotions, to research lessons. However, as one who inherited my grandfather's marked up an underlined Bible, his highlights, his notes, his personal commentary all written through the pages, I realize that I will never pass my Bible app down to my grandkids. So today I want to encourage you to take some time every day to sit with the Holy Spirit and a paper Bible and let Him teach you. Let Him lead you. Let Him tell you what to mark up and what notes to leave behind. You never know how God may use it to minister to someone, even long after you're gone, maybe even your own children or grandchildren. When my grandfather's sister went on to be with the Lord, my husband was asked to minister her funeral. When he looked at her Bible immediately, he knew that God had a better idea. She had so loved the Word of God that her Bible had a lifetime of revelation, notes, personal commentary, filling every page and space. There was no room left to write anything. So my husband simply just read the passages that the Lord had given him and then read her notes on them. And in doing so, did God allow her to preach her own funeral and minister the gospel of her beloved Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to five generations of her own family in her own words? What a blessing for her from heaven to witness this and what a comfort for her family who were still here and how inspiring, I thought, an idea. After the funeral, my husband was able to hand her Bible and its lifetime of love, loyalty, faith, and devotion etched into every single space on every page down to her children to continue to minister to them for years to come. What a gift. How rare a treasure in this digital age. And how much more rare will it be for the generations to come? Because in her generation, it was not uncommon to read and to write and to mark in your Bible. But in ours, it's becoming a lot less because we just use our Bible apps. So today, take some time, sit with God, write your notes, get a notepad, get a Bible that you don't mind marking up. Seek the Lord for something to leave behind. A paper treasure of ministry value rather than monetary value. Don't be scared to mark up that Bible. Don't be hesitant to leave notes. Don't be ashamed to journal, to write, to draw. These things that mean so little today could mean everything to someone later. As we read in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 2, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto you in a book.